everybody. Um, as you can probably see, we're down in the cellar today for a cup test video. Uh, come down to the cellar just because the usual little desk that I do my videos at probably can't take much of a bashing. And uh, the test today is opening a tin of veggies with a GI Custom. So, I've just changed the arrangement for the camera and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so first thing is we'll just do a little bit of paper so that you can see how good the edge is. It's absolutely razor sharp. Now, tin of veggies, I have punctured one end to drain the water out just to keep the mess to a minimum. A while ago there was a spate of people opening cans with knives on YouTube and um, the most effective one, I can't remember whose video it was, but rather than going in through the top, I just put the can on its side and slice the top right off. So that's what we're going to try and do today. We're simply just going to go in. Unfortunately, as you can see, some of the taters have taken a bit of a mashing, but that was quite easy. The crucial thing though is going to be, how's that edge? It looks like we may have a couple of little rolls there. Hmm, let's have a look. There's definitely a roll there and a couple of little rolls there. And as you can see, whilst most of the blade is still razor sharp, there is a bit of a snag. So, I think we may have turned the point a little as well. However, the damage is pretty minimal and in fairness this isn't really the supposed to isn't really the sort of thing you're supposed to be doing. But it just shows you that if you need to, you can. So I'm just going to go off now and just give that edge a little tickle and get us back to where we were. So given how slight the impact has been on the edge and how easy it was to cut the can open, I'm quite happy with that. Hope you found that interesting. See you next time. Hello again. So we're back at the little desk. Uh, I had a look under the microscope and there were a microscope, magnifying glass, and there were just a couple of flat spots, one here and a couple there. Very, t very tiny. Um, so what I did was 600 grit wet and dry paper with WD-40 because uh, I don't have 
any fancy wet stones at the moment just literally a few passes like that over the wet and dry and then the uh, homemade leather strop with green paste and let's see how we do now as I say as you saw on the um, the main part of the video there was a dull spot there and a couple of little snags there so let's just see we're on, are we on camera problems solved just a bit of an experiment to see how we get on doing something stupid with a very nice knife it coped perfectly well um, I think I'll just give the edge another little strop but I'm quite happy with that and uh, we'll see you next time mm -hmm.